Good morning, coffee aficionados. If you live in New Jersey, specifically Central New Jersey, today you are in for a treat. I have with me Hardy's Whole Bean Coffee. Now, Hardy's is a coffee shop located in Flemington, off of the downtown. If you find it, you um, may not know right away uh, how to enter, you go right up the steps to the door. Some days you may need to ring the doorbell depending on, you know, who's there and if they're feeling um, busy or if they're working on something in the back, you know, sometimes they'll lock the door. Um, but, you know, you just ring it, you come right in, or you just enter the door uh, as usual on a normal day. I'm just giving you a heads up just in case you may think it's closed or it may look closed, but it is not. Always check the website, call ahead if you're going to come from... Um, out, of, out of your way or out of state. So I have with me two medium roast coffees. I have their red label on the left and their blue label on the right. Um, the red label is my favorite. I have not yet um, had, well, I've had blue label, but I haven't had it in a while. So I'm saying red label is my favorite, but it is a recency bias. So let's focus on the red label. It's a Honduras San Vicente uh, blend. Uh, flavor notes of chocolate, honey, and dried fruits. They tell you exactly when it was roasted. So it was roasted about a week ago. And the roasting profile is a medium roast. So they're going through what they produce. They have their amber label, which is light roast, bright, dynamic, and smooth. The blue label, which I have to my right, which is a medium roast, mellow, balanced, and silky. Red label, medium dark roast, uh, medium body, and slightly bright. And the dark label, dark roast, warm tones, full body, and bite. Now, what's interesting is Hardee's, they'll use any of these beans for their espressos, which I thought was very unique. I didn't know that you could do that. Coffee for anyone. Hardee's Coffee strives to maximize all coffee drinkers' experiences. We source the world's most trending micro-lot, single-origin specialty coffees, which we refer to as craft coffee. Hardy's Coffee makes it easy for any coffee drinker to explore, uh, sorry, to explore the world of craft coffee by following their preferences through our guided color label system, patent pending. When brewing, please reference our brewing guidelines on the side of the bag depending on your device you extract. We take pride in our people and are fully invested in the lives of everyone who helped bring this coffee to you. From our hands to yours, we hope each cup of Hardee's from your first sip to your last. So you could follow them on Instagram at Hardee's Coffee, Facebook at Hardee's Coffee Bar, or online at Hardee'sCoffee.com. Oh, this is great. So if you have... Um, I guess that's like a, a French press, a carafe. I'm not sure what this guy is in the middle, but medium grind, fine grind, coarse grind. I guess, uh, you know, maybe it's a portable espresso maker. Who knows? And a, t a temperature to bring it to? I'm, I'm not that fancy. The ratio and the time. For customers using a traditional drip machine, feel free to use your typical ratio of coffee and water and enjoy it. That's what I will be doing. So I'm actually going to leave the red label today. I'm going to be trying the blue label. So what I want to do is open this bag up and get a look at these beans. This will be my first time looking at and what they have to offer. Oh boy, they, they make a strong bag. So I'm going to need scissors. Good luck if I can find any. Um, all right, maybe I will knife through it and use brute strength. There we go. When you don't have scissors, just cut right through life's problems. <laughs> okay, so when looking at these beans, to me, let's see, where are they from again? Papua New Guinea. This one is from Papua New Guinea, Bebes, or Bebes, Bebes Station. Apricot chocolate maple maple syrup to me it looks like a pea berry uh, variety like those smaller those smaller looking beans let's load them up in our coffee grinder here okay. 
It's not as aromatic as the red label, but then again, it's this is lighter roast than that one, so maybe the robustness of the scent changes as you roast longer. So maybe a lighter roast doesn't fill up a room as much as a darker roast. And again, I'm learning as I go. I'm not an aficionado. I'm just someone who really enjoys coffee. Check that out. Looking really good. So I'm going to brew it. Enjoy a cup. Thank you for joining me. If you ever find yourself in New Jersey, maybe you could go on the website and have it delivered. I'm not 100%. But if you'd like me to find that out, more than happy to give them a ring. Um, but this is some quality coffee. And I go to a lot of coffee shops working in real estate. Um, I cover the top half of New Jersey with Partners Realty. And I can tell you out of the many, many, many coffee shops I've been to, Hardee's is easily one of the top three, top five in the state. So if you find yourself in central New Jersey and you're near Flemington, it is worth the trip. Thank you for joining me and take care. Have a wonderful day.